Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. Today we've got a surprising benchmark for Intel's upcoming Tiger Lake processors, Intel's first XE discrete GPU is leaked, and we've got some great hardware deals. Okay, it's news time, and first up for today, we have a story that was spotted in the Chinese tech portal Zihu, hopefully I pronounced that right, where a user seems to have leaked benchmarks for Intel's next-gen Tiger Lake U processors. For those who don't know, Tiger Lake is Intel's 10 nanometer plus follow-up to their current Ice Lake processors. In the benchmarks, the user compares a Tiger Lake U engineering sample to the Ice Lake i7 1065G7. Now, remember that the 1065G7 is the highest clock 15 watt Ice Lake U CPU, which gets a maximum single core boost of 3.9 GHz and a maximum all core boost of 3.5. The Tiger Lake sample, to which I will say this is just a rumor at this point, but something that seems to go along with what we've been hearing. Either way, according to this, the sample gets a maximum single core boost of 4.3 GHz and an all core boost of 4. Obviously those are some big differences, and when comparing the 1065G7, the engineering sample at 15 watts is up to 18% faster in spec speed, and it's up to a whopping 32% faster in spec rate. Not only that, but at just 28 watts, it gets as high as 64% better. Of course, that's at a higher wattage, but given these are right, there's clearly a big jump with Intel's improved 10 nanometer process. Well, let's just hope desktop can get there before 2025. Next up for today, we're getting closer and closer to 2020, which means new hardware. And one thing to get excited for is Intel's newest foray into discrete GPUs. For those who don't know, the company's XE Discrete cards are set for release in 2020, and with it coming so soon, we've got our first leak with specs. Originally found and shared by one of our favorite leakers, Komachi, you can see that Intel themselves submitted a new processor to the EEC. The fact that Intel filed it instead of a board partner could lend credit to the recent rumors suggesting AIB partners aren't willing to cooperate for their first-gen release. Of course, that is nothing but a rumor, and Intel could have just done it first. Either way, if we look at it, you can see that the GPU is the DG1 External Development Kit. Now, we know that the DG1 is Intel's first discrete GPU, and from this, it's believed to be a low-power gaming GPU. We've also seen a DG2 GPU, which is likely moving on up in specs. We know Intel is planning GPUs for mobile gaming all the way up to server cards, with desktop gaming GPUs in between. Anyway, the big thing here is that it also mentions the card has 96 execution units. Now, given Intel sticks with their usual 8 shader units, that would give this 768. Interestingly, 96 execution units is the same number believed to be a part of Tiger Lake's GPU. Basically, this looks to be a discrete version of Tiger Lake's iGPU, and given the potentially big jump in performance from the last story, this could be a serious contender in the mobile space. Let's just hope DG2 and other cards don't take too long to come out. Lastly for today, there are some amazing end-of-year deals. <laughs> So I wanted to go over some of the really good ones, and keep in mind that I'll have affiliate links in the description, so if you're interested and want to help the channel out, I really appreciate it if you use those below. Okay, first up, we've got some great CPU deals, starting with Intel's Celeron CPU that's just $44 right now. Of course, that isn't all that powerful, so if you want more, there's the new Ryzen 7 3700X that's just $309.99 on Amazon, or only $299.99 at Micro Center, and they're offering $20 more off when bundled with a compatible motherboard. Moving on, AMD's Threadripper 1920X, a 12-core, 24-thread CPU, is just $199 right now. If you don't need all of those cores, no worries, because the 9600K is $204.99 on eBay, or for Prime members, it's $206.99 on Amazon. Moving on to GPUs, the XFX580 is just $159.99 right now, then the ASRock 570 is just $109, or for more power, the XFX Raw 2 5700XT is on sale for $369.99 at Best Buy. For peripherals, there's the Logitech G402, which is on sale for just $17.99 on Newegg. Keep in mind that this is a mouse that's over $50, bucks, so talk about a good deal. If you need an MMO mouse, there's the G600 for just $22.99. I'll have a few other deals that I really liked down in the description, so make sure to check that out below. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for Intel's second jump into discrete GPUs? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.